Welcome back, Honest Man, Fallout 4, first playthrough, Nuka World. I'm here with Porter. We are just outside of the vault Tech attraction inside the Galaxy Zone, uh, the south exit slash entrance. And just to get everyone caught up, we are collecting star cores, which are these little pinkish control panels. And from what I can gather, we're going to need those to turn on star control which seems to be some sort of computer with the ability to run the park and that's our agenda here so where do we get star control well according to this sign it is this away and also note just around the corner here excellent nuka cooler recipe Okay, and then left hand rule here from the magazine into the employees only area. There's another star core back here I wanted to point out. There we go. And then I should have grabbed this on the way. Uh, another scav magazine here. Excellent. Oh, okay. Increases speech challenge success chance. Interesting. I wonder how good that is. Like, is that good enough to have a material effect on how much charisma you want to aim for? That is something I'll be researching for my next playthrough. Well, that was easier than I thought. So <laughs> I didn't have to walk very far at, our, far at all. Hardly needed to cut. Um, another star core. Kendall Alston. Oh yeah, see here's all the panels for the star cores. mainframe no course detected a minimum of one is required to initialize emergency operation mode okay start getting them plugged in and yeah, so yeah there's more interesting that in this park you know, we're finding dead not raiders traitors Looks like a really nice suit of power armor. That's got to be the prize, right? Okay, finally ran out. How many more here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I count eighteen at a glance. Jeez. Thought I was doing pretty good there, but <laughs> a ways to go yet, apparently. And there are two different terminals? Or am I seeing things? I think I'm seeing things. It's just the one here. Initialize. Oh, I only need 20, so I'm only four short. 35 for fully functional. Okay. Insufficient cores to assert control over linked robotic systems. Emergency protocols will become available as additional star cores are installed. Okay, let's check the system logs here. Operating instructions. 
Systemized telemetry for automated robot control. Star control. Developed by Robco Industries. It's a complete solution for corporate clients needing to administer a large number of robots and defensive systems. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Star cores are interoperable. Technician log. Finished install. Install was successful. So they're, uh, star control may be overkill, but at least it has some redundancy if something does go wrong. It's been almost a month, and star control is still working perfectly. Mark and I have been digging through the control code, and we verified that the defensive mode protocol admin wanted seemed to be in place. If there is a major emergency of some kind, we flip the system into defensive mode and use the robots to secure the park. There's no real way to test it. Let's just hope it never comes to that. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And I think this is the day prior to the bombs. The mainframe tours have been a big hit. Lucky us. First, we lose our workspace to that ridiculous diorama, and now we have to babysit a bunch of snotty six-year-olds who can't resist pushing all the big glowy buttons. We're going to start integrating the robots at the junkyard into the system this week. Junkyard? Okay, I haven't seen junkyard yet. I'm not sure if Star Control's interlink will work at that range, but it's worth a shot. This thing keeps surprising me. Okay. Junkyard. Kendall's log. Okay, so this is the dead guy. Took us three days, but we finally broke through the rubble around the north gate. Walked right in. No turrets, no combat bots, nothing. The only robot I had to put down was that damned Nucatron that kept trying to sell me a $10 bottle of Nuka Cherry. Stupid thing wouldn't even take caps. This here's the real prize, though. Top of the line pre-war tech, still humming along. My girl Tiana says these glowy things are redundant, which I guess means we can take them. Ought to fetch a good price back in town. <laughs> Dumbass. So Tiara, I'm pretty sure, was the dead girl we found outside the park. Kendall's log. Coulter's gangs took Nukatown. We got survivors incoming. I had the boys throw up some defenses, but they ain't gonna last long. I told Tiana to turn on that defensive mode she told me about. She panicked, said we'd taken too many cores from this thing. It couldn't handle the reboot. Sent everyone she could find to go strip cores from other rides. The girl means well, but with the gangs breathing down our necks, I gotta do something. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, you dumbass. So they, they were stripping cores for parts, because that's brilliant. It took too many. Got into a situation where they wanted to turn on on defense mode. Couldn't. So then it must have gone into its emergency mode or whatever and just aggroed all the bots, and the bots wiped everyone out. I think that's the gist. 16 star cores currently installed, a total of 19 others detected in range. Okay, so this, this helps you zero in on places to track down more cores. Uh, the battle zone, zero, I got all those. Vault tech, zero, I got all those. Star control chamber, which is where we are, zero, I got all those. Uh, we have four other locations. Nuka Galaxy, Galactic Zone Grounds, so I think that's just around the park in general. Starlight Interstellar Theater, huh. And then five outside the Galactic Zone. Perhaps at the Junkyard? Okay. Okay, so I do have some options with the number of cores. Selective shutdown one. Connects to all linked or box systems. iBot firmware. 
Can I just shut down all these? Emergency protocol, limited control. Saltron. Okay. <laughs> I just miss issued an emergency protocol, limited control over Assaultrons. Uh, selective shutdown. Sentries. Okay, turned off the sentries. Nucatrons, and turn off the Nucatrons. Okay, making progress. Now I just need to track down one of these other locations to get more cores. All right, so we found Nuka Galaxy here. We gotta cut the line here. Okay, right, so I shut these down. Okay. Come on, Gage, move it. Yep. All right, more cores.
Yeah, I was wondering if it was like some sort of simulation or if it was a ride and clearly it's a ride. Ride controls. Multiple malfunctions detected. The ride has been halt. Ride has been halted. Automated track clearing system is offline. Please restore main power to clear the track. Okay. I was maybe able to turn on the lights there. Definitely can't turn on the ride until the track is cleared. I didn't see an alternate way up there, so I think we just have to keep pushing forward. Hearing a lot of gunfire. Oh, here we go. Still gunfire. Who is shooting up here? Commander Astro Gutsy. I think we're clear. That was all of them. Just check our corners here. terminal. Yeah, same as the other one. Looks like. Yeah, just take a seat, Porter. <gasps> Holy cow.
the case just fall? <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to catch up, I guess. I feel like there was a section back there that I missed. But we'll just stay on track for the moment. Master lock. All right. That's it. Jesus. <laughs> I guess they're programmed to do that. Expect that. Yeah, so the noises that I'm hearing, I imagine that at least some of it is from Assault Trons that I'm, that are on my side, right? Because they're not under my control. They had partial control at least. So I think that's part of the noise that I'm hearing of combat is assault trons fighting other stuff. Got it. But there seems to be like programmed encounters between aliens as well. Also, oh, no, right there, there's a Novatron just on my side. Suck it, aliens. Good job, Novatron. See, we got it all under control, Porter. Okay. Looks like we have our way forward here. Seems like every corner has a dead traitor.
Star Core. Yeah, Gage. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bit of an interesting conundrum, right? It's like, okay, yeah, you can get these star cores and disable all the stuff. Well, I guess if it's disabled, you could still destroy it and get the XP. That's kind of what I was thinking. side. Yeah, I think for for sanity's sake, surely it's worth it to disable the turrets. Can I not hit that? Master. Surely there's a key around here somewhere. <laughs> Got it. They can't hold out much longer. Yeah, this is the place we came in. Star core. Just two more. the key. They can't hold out much longer. Squad three, four, five. You are going for long. There we go. That's all the course. Yeah, here's another key. Went right past it. That's okay. You know, three master locks to pick. Not bad. Don't make them like this anymore, do they? Oh, well. Our medallion. Okay, back at star control. Plug in some more star cores. We did pick up a couple outside of Nuka Galaxy. Uh, just in kind of the surrounding area. 
not too hard to find. Picked up quite a few, actually, I guess. Forgot to grab this hollow tape. Mark's log. It's been three weeks since Ingrid and I activated Star Control and the new robots in the Galactic Zone. Earlier today, I was working on a Nucatron when these damn kids came at us with their thirst sappers. Of course, they got soda all over the exposed hardware. The Nucatron lurched and pointed its nozzle right at one of the boys. I thought for sure he triggered the military protocol, and we were all dead. Turns out Star Control sensed the glitch, so we never had to find out. It shut down the Nucatron itself. God, I was so relieved. I still think having armed robots in the park is insane. But as far as I'm concerned, this Star Control's the real deal. Okay, 25 out of 35. Ooh, defensive mode. Engages live fire defense mode for all linked robots and turrets. Yeah, critical fault has been detected. Deactivate defensive mode. Display case access. Open the display case. Okay, 10 more cores. Oh, there is still one more over in the galactic zone. Oh, out and about in the galactic zone grounds. Right. Interstellar theater and then outside. Right, Starlight Interstellar Theater. That was pretty easy, actually. It was just uh, keep to the left as you're entering the park. Why is there gunfire? <laughs> yeah, this thing is shut down. Nice. Star core for us. Why does he keep shooting? Going up. 
Okay, so those star cores go pretty quick uh, when you don't have everyone shooting at you. But we'll have to circle back and try to find... It's got to be the junkyard, right, to get those other cores. We'll come back to that at some point. Right now, uh, if Maddox back there would shut up, we are in the market. Uh, the market in the middle of Nuka Town. And this is our first trip here. A uh, couple reasons why. One, I mean, first of all, shout out to Michael Freeland, or Fryland, apologies if that's wrong, uh, in the comments. Uh, give me some great advice. And one of the things in particular was to get my butt into the market. And the other thing I was thinking about more was the conversation with Harvey last episode. Because when we first met him, he was the guy trying to sucker us into coming here and get murdered. He seemed really duplicitous. And I just didn't trust him. <laughs> but then after talking to him, it's like, well, this, this guy's actually kind of sympathetic. And, and the broader context here seems to be that the traders were here first. Just here to pick up some supplies, boss. And then Colton and all the raiders came and took over. So, so maybe this, maybe I've set myself up with a false choice. Maybe it's not disciples, operators, pack. Maybe there's a fourth option, which is side with the traitors. So that's what I'm here to find out. And and pending my my findings here, that'll sort of dictate a little bit what I do with the flag for Galaxy Zone. So, okay, that's my spiel. I'm going to go around and talk to some people. I'll let you know if we find anyone interesting. <clears throat> hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. What was he like? In a word, violent. The other raiders might also tell you that he got a little too comfortable in the position. In any case, he wasn't someone whose bad side I ever wanted to be on. Just like I don't ever want to be on yours. I'm not planning to give anyone nightmares. Thank goodness. I'll sleep a lot better having you in charge. So, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job keeping all these raiders in line. I don't really know what to expect. Hey, that makes sense, boss. You haven't been here for very long, after all. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. Why would you congratulate me? It's not like you're free to go. Well, to be honest, I don't know you yet, boss. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That, and well, I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Holter. Business as usual, or... You could, um, well, you know, get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Now we're talking. Well, I admit, I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now... You could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. And when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. <laughs> I'd have to kill all of them? No, of course not, if you're serious about this then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. 
Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. Treat everyone, raider, trader, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies too, if you're looking for those. Okay, doctor, Jesus. Yeah, the... I should have done the obvious thing and come in here first because I've been warping back to Diamond City for doctoring. A doctor? How did you end up in this place? Well, it's a bit of a story. I used to live at a settlement west of here. We got hit by Colter and his gang back when he had one. It was a tough fight. We killed some of theirs, they killed some of ours. They were wounded on both sides, but nobody could get to them. I called out for a ceasefire on the condition that I'd see to their injuries as well as ours. Saved a few lives that day, including Coulter's. When he set up this place, he came back for me. Said if I came along, he'd make sure his guys wouldn't hit our settlement again. Now this place is my home. Anyway, anything I can do for you? Treatment or supplies? Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Sure, take a look. Hey there, boss. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was something. Guess that means his big plans for the die with him. Big plans? Did that include getting killed in his own arena? Of course not, boss. Back when Coulter first took over, he had big ideas. And he made some big promises. His plan was to get the power plant back online and light up the whole park, making it easier to conquer and safer for all of us. We could have done it too, but things changed, slowed down. Coulter stopped pushing, stopped caring so much. Why did he stop caring? Did something happen? Some of the gangs were guessing he got too comfortable, but I don't really know. Well, I'm just a traitor, so I know my opinion doesn't count for anything. But I still think it's a good plan. Hell, I might even give those poor bastards out in Dry Rock Gulch a fighting chance. What poor bastards are you talking about? Back when the raiders took over, some of us, the traders who were here before, I mean, got away. Last I heard, those folks were holed up in Dry Rock Gulch, probably hmm. struggling, if they're alive at all. You think you'll follow through on Coulter's plan? Get the juice flowing again? You seem pretty well informed about Coulter's plans. Well, yeah. Coulter needed my input on getting the power plant running again. I'm sort of the unofficial chief handyman around here, or as close as we've got to one. Guess you could say I've got a vested interest in the plan to get the power back on. Speaking of which, do you think you'll see it through? Coulter's plan, I mean? Coulter had the right idea. I just might finish what he started. I hope you do, boss. Truth is, I've dreamed about that day more than once. Not sure why, really. Maybe I've just grown attached to the place. What with all the work I've done on it. It sounds funny, I know, but... I think Nuka World is something really special. I think she deserves to have her lights shine again. And just imagine, at night you'd see it for miles around. Folk would talk about it. They'd come from all over to shop in the market. That's a lot of caps for you and the gangs. How long have you been here? And about 20 years now, I guess. For better or worse, Nuka World is my home. Gotta get back to work here. See you around, boss. Okay, I think that does it for the market. Uh, there was a star core right over here on this table near Shelby's. So I snatched that up really quick. Uh, but other than that, I think we hit the important parts. Back to talk to the hubologists. These spacesuits are pretty heavy, <laughs> so <laughs> I want to turn this in. I can see the spaceship from here, just like he promised. Just sitting in that damn junkyard. Ooh. So close, so tantalizing. But I digress. Do you have the spacesuits? I do. And tell What's me that about a spaceship and a junkyard? Yeah. It's the reason I need those suits. 
Without them, we don't have a chance to capture the ship. But enough of that for now. Do you have the spacesuits or not? Uh, she want to use them like hazmat suits? All five. Here they are. Perfect. Here is your payment. We can proceed with the next step in the plan. I'm counting on you to help us with it. We need to take control of the spaceship in the junkyard. I know it's a lot to ask, so I'm willing to give you one of Hubology's great treasures if we succeed. Why do you want to capture the spaceship? It is central to Hubology. We are destined to make it fly. More than that, I cannot tell you. It is secret knowledge reserved for AHS 7 members. You do know it's not a real spaceship, right? Your mind is limited by neurodyes. If you had my expanded mental powers, you would see the truth about the spaceship. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Together, we can capture that spaceship. I knew I could count on you. Let's go tell the others. Everyone gather. Form the wheel. She coming down. I am ready. This is the The time has come. The hub's grand plan can enter its next important phase. All of your hard work has borne fruit. We can liberate the junkyard and take control of what we need. Thanks to our mercenary, we have the spacesuits to protect us from the robot guards. So put on these spacesuits and take up your arms. We have a mercenary to lead us into combat. They may be a bit snug at first, but they'll protect you. Oh my god. Well, she does have a plasma rifle. That's something. I can't talk to her here. Okay, so they're gonna run to the junkyard. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is happening. They're, they're pretty well armed, actually. So, okay. They activated star control, so... The robots here should be disabled? Question mark? with me you just wait here I'll do it all you must be very confident in your skills it's your decision we'll wait until you've killed most of them yeah I mean it doesn't seem like it makes sense to have them all get killed Starcore. Power distributor. Ooh, magazine. Bingo. Combat knife and switchblade damage. Okay, so that first building there on north on the north side that we went into has a power armor rack. I mean it seems like you could set up shop there 
if he wanted. I wonder if that means that you could sort of align yourself with the Habologists or something? Not sure. Yeah. And, and yeah, so clearly <laughs> activating star control apparently is not sufficient to shut down all of the robots. So we still have some defenses to contend with. Okay, yeah, that wasn't many enemies at all. <laughs> we'll talk in a minute. First, I must address the faithful. <laughs> We fought a great battle today. A battle we could not have won without our friend. It came with a steep price, though. We will mourn Tula's passing. May she join us with the Sky Father, but our work is not done yet. Taking the spaceship is not enough. It must be made to fly again. It must be ready to take us to our destiny. Soon you will earn the greatest reward Hapology has to offer. For now, rest and celebrate. You have earned it. How in the world did Tula die? I told them all to stay back. Definitely did not see that. Hi. What a glorious battle. You were magnificent. Too bad about Tula. She died so young before she could fully realize her true potential through Hubology. I promised you a payment. This gun was passed down from the Hub himself. Take great care of it. Alien Blaster. Critical shots do double damage and the critical meter fills 15% faster. I have a grand total of 10 rounds for this thing that she just handed me. I need your help for one last thing. I need to get that spaceship powered up again. But we don't have any fusion cores. I have some extra ammo for the hub's gun that I can give you if you succeed. I'll be sure. glad to help. Good. Once you get it powered up, we can work on making it space worthy. All right, distributor that we picked up. He only wanted three, but there was an empty spot, so I put in four. Ultimate UFO. <laughs> I can't start the ride. Okay. Does it just spin, I wonder? So I did find Tula's body, actually. I assume she must have died from radiation just walking through the junkyard. <laughs> yeah, it just spins. Visions. I'm seeing visions. Ha <laughs> 
What? <laughs> Did they all die? <laughs> what happened? Okay. Well. <sighs> Dara Hubble. There's her head. Well, what do we do, Derek Porter? I, I tell you what we do. We level up. Get some more strength. And, uh, and, th and that's where we wrap, right? There's nowhere to go from there other than end the video. That'll do it. Thank you all so much. Like, subscribe. Mia Porter, I'm going to see you next time.